Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Jordan, and I'm back with another drawing video. So, I've been doing a lot of different style videos lately. I've been doing like the, the creepy videos and stuff. Mainly just because I've been kind of having fun with that. Originally, I was going to try and do um, like a manga drawing or something once a week and then do a creepy one once a week as well. But I kind of just got in the rhythm of doing the creepy ones. Um, it's kind of just easy, like a lot quicker than the other videos I've been doing. So it's kind of just been a bit refreshing to do to do those ones. So I've just kind of stuck with that for a little bit. But I know that's kind of not what everyone wants to see. <laughs> um, especially because, you know, I just started doing those videos and a lot of my older subscribers are kind of used to my my other stuff so I kind of understand that it's not everyone's cup of tea kind of thing but I've just been having a lot of fun doing that and I've kind of decided with my YouTube channel I just want to put out videos that I enjoy doing I mean a lot of people especially when it comes to like drawing videos the popular stuff is often like the how-to videos the tutorials because that's kind of what people search for so I, I understand why a lot of people do that and I think a lot of people kind of fall into the trap of just trying to do videos to like please other people and stuff. They're not doing it because they actually enjoy making those types of videos. So I just wanted to, you know, be honest with myself in the videos that I want to put out. Put out stuff that I enjoy doing. I mean like I don't make money off YouTube or anything, anything like that. So it's more important to, to me to kind of just put out stuff that I enjoy doing and you know hopefully along that journey people will start enjoying the stuff that I put out and I mean the people who subscribe to my channel hopefully like the stuff that I put out um, and that's just the main thing for me I guess I'm still you know I still plan on doing some tutorial videos and stuff like that and originally this video I haven't like even introduced this one <laughs> was going to be like a tutorial on how to draw eyes but honestly, tutorial videos kind of just bore me a little bit, mainly making them. I guess I don't really watch tutorial videos either. I mean, it just feels like they've been done before. I mean, every single art channel seems to have stacks of tutorials, and I'm like, I, I get that. But at the same time, it just kind of gets a bit, a little bit boring, I think. So yeah, like I said before, I just want to do stuff that I find enjoyable and what was really good about when I started doing these the creepy pasta videos and stuff it just sped up my my art style a little bit like I mean I everyone's always kind of talking about like finding their own style and stuff like that and I mean I'm still finding my own style it's just something that kind of constantly evolves I think but it's always good I think my main advice to anyone who's like asking how do I get my own style is just to try lots of different things because as soon as you kind of just start focusing on one thing and you don't even like expand to try different things I think you really kind of limit yourself there so my problem my problem was I think that I was kind of just getting too stiff with my with my drawing style every all my drawings would take ages I'd take ages on the line work ages on the coloring and you know that can be fine but I think when I started doing the creepy drawings I had like a time limit basically I had to get it done because when I narrate the story over it it only goes for so long so I just had to do quicker drawings and that forced me to kind of just loosen up with the style loosen up with the coloring you know not everything had to be perfect to be inside the lines it was just kind of a looser style and that was just really refreshing for me because normally it'd take me like weeks or even months just to finish a drawing and now I've done like I've already done 12 different uh, different drawings for the creepypasta videos I haven't uh, made the videos yet um, although I've done a few which I haven't released yet which I will be releasing but just even so I've already <laughs> Um, I did the video where I unboxed the new Copic markers that I got and I've already run out some some of the Copics are already dry just for the from the amount of um, drawings I've done with them so it's just been really good to just try different things um, I guess that that's the main point of what I'm trying to say is just experiment with different things um, I mean when I started out on this channel 
it was all like anime manga art and I still like that stuff but I never really um, just closed myself off and just did that I was always kind of looking at different stuff different mediums I mean I guess I haven't even told you guys on the channel but I'm actually an apprentice tattoo artist at the moment so I mean like I've always been open to try different things and not just focus on one thing I guess um, just open to all different art forms really um, and I think that's just really really helpful if you're trying to expand yourself as an artist hopefully you guys kind of get what I'm trying to say I'm starting to ramble now so I'll pretty much wrap it up uh, more creepy pasta videos are coming I've got kind of a stack of them my computer's actually getting full like the hard drive is getting full because I've got too much too much video so got to kind of put some more of them out there I'll probably be doing another art supply haul video as well I'm looking at buying some more Copics I think and there's a few other art supplies I want to grab so I'm probably just gonna buy that stuff online and then uh, post a video on it when it when the stuff comes in there's a pretty cool little art supply store near me but it's just hard to justify buying stuff from the store when you can get it online for so much cheaper the Copics are just ridiculously priced when you go you get them from stores so I'm probably going to just start buying most of my stuff online um, everything's pretty much available online so it's just kind of you just save a lot of money I like being able to look at the stuff in stores and especially like when I want to buy paper and stuff like that I like to be able to see it and feel it so I can tell if it's good quality. But anyway, that's pretty much it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.